So, to get the magnitude of your velocity, make the 25 and the 8 legs of a right triangle. And how fast did you fly? 26.2. Take your word for it. 26.2 meters per second. And with what angle should you point your plane? 72 degrees? 73 degrees? 72.3. Okay, 72 degrees. Boom. So again, and luckily, the calculator tells us, hey, that's 72 degrees right there. So 72 degrees at, or 26.2 at 72 degrees is how you should point your plane and with what velocity so you can cancel out your wind. How are we doing with this stuff? Um, We're good with vectors? Okay, now vectors are a tool. Okay, question. Okay, vectors are just a tool. And we're going to use them when we talk about projectiles on Monday. Yes? I have a question. Uh-huh. So if you put 25 over 8, and that equals 72, so if you were just trying to... Like the inverse tangent of 25 over 8 is... Is 72. Okay, and the inverse... So what's the problem? If, absolutely. Yeah. So you can say 72 degrees from the origin, or you can say 18 degrees from north. Does that make sense? Okay. So are we happy with this? So you can say, I'm going to go 18 degrees west of north, or I'll do 72 degrees overall. I needed to cancel out the wind. So I needed, I needed my flight to subtract the wind. So when we subtract a vector, we add its opposite. So I added the opposite of the wind to where I wanted to go. Does that make sense? No, not at all. They're, they're, they're far more powerful than the wind, so they don't normally have to do that. No. Okay. Other questions? The river is a more is a better example because the water does actually have to push the boat a certain way. All right, so let's refer back to our worksheet, our uh, tools for scientific thinking, vector evaluation. And there's a number of questions, number of vectors there. It's okay to wonder, wonder good. Number five, which which vector or vectors have a non-zero x component? All of them except B. B. All of them except B. B has a zero x component because B is only in the y direction. Good. Which vector or vectors have an x component pointing in the positive, pointing in the negative x coordinate direction? C. C and E. Yeah. C and E have both have x vectors pointing in the negative x direction. C and E. Which vector has a zero y component? D. D. The only one that has no y component is D. Um, by the way, does it matter where on the coordinate plane the vector is? No. All that matters is its length and its direction. doesn't matter where on the coordinate, coordinate plane it is. Um, which vectors have a non-zero y component? Everything but d, yeah. Everything but d. And which vectors have a y component pointing in the positive y coordinate direction? A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Which vector has a zero x component? B. Which vector has the greatest magnitude? B. Draw a vector on the x-axis that has equal components of x and y with the x component in the positive x and the y component in the negative y. Is it component one, or is it in quadrant one, two, three, or four? Four. four. Hopefully it looks like that at 45 or negative 45 degrees. Look familiar? Did the quadrant go, did I do it right? I thought it went clock, uh, counterclockwise. But. So uh, positive x, whoosh, negative y, whoosh, vector like that. All right, so uh, any questions on 5 through 12? Should go back to 4a? 4a, show how three non-zero vectors can add up to be zero. Draw an example. You want to give it a try? Tell you what. 
Here, if you want to give it a try, come up and, and grab a pen and uh, see if you can put your example where three vectors that are non-zero can add up to be zero. There is no one.